Arthritis, it's an absolute pain, isn't it? Have you ever wondered why it's painful though? You might be surprised to know that there isn't a clear answer. Keep watching and I'll explain. Osteoarthritis is the commonest form of arthritis. 10% of men and 20% of women over the age of 60 have symptomatic osteoarthritis, usually in the hands, hips and knees. It's a big problem because there isn't a cure and the treatment options are limited. All we can do is to manage the symptoms with exercises and drugs at first, and then surgery. All of these options can sometimes make you worse off though if you have a side effect or a complication. It's tricky. Our joints are made of bone, cartilage and ligaments. The lining of the joint, or the synovium, produces an oily liquid that lubricates the joint surfaces. The cartilage is made of protein that holds water within it allowing the stresses and strains of movement and weight bearing to happen smoothly. All the parts that make up the joint are involved when arthritis happens. There's no single cause that triggers it, but we know that age, genetic factors and the way that we live our lives can increase the risk of getting arthritis. In the early stage of hip arthritis, you might be aware of some pain in the upper thigh, particularly after exercise. It wears off if you rest, and at first, it's not too bad. This is when you might be advised to lose weight take painkillers and avoid those activities that trigger the pain. Later on, the pain becomes constant. In the advanced stages, you can get pain at night and sudden severe stabbing pains that stop you in your tracks. But why is it painful? Well, let's look at it in more detail. The brain tells us we've got pain because it receives information from pain receptors in our tissues, including the joints. The information travels along the nerves to the spinal cord and then up to the brain. Pain is good, it protects us from danger, but when it's there all the time, it's, well, a pain. There are conditions where the nerve supply to a joint stops working and you can't feel pain. The joint quickly wears out because of the repetitive overloading and damage that happens. When arthritis starts, the tissues release proteins that are involved in what's called the inflammatory response. This is an important damage limitation repair mechanism. The proteins stimulate the pain receptors, sending them into overdrive. As the arthritis gets worse, the joint cartilage wears away, and this exposes pain receptors in the bone, adding to the misery. There's more fluid in the joint, and this increases the pressure inside, so it feels stiff and uncomfortable. But it's not just the mechanical and the inflammatory factors that make us feel pain. I see a lot of women who start to have symptoms around the time that they become menopausal. Hormonal changes definitely have an effect on the rate of progression of arthritis and how we perceive pain. Some people seem to be very sensitive to pain and it's well known that genetic, psychological and so-called psychosocial factors have a big part to play in how we respond to pain and disability. There's lots of evidence to show that people can become sensitised to pain so that it feels much worse, not just in the joint but also everywhere else. This can make you feel anxious and depressed, making the problem even worse. You don't sleep well, you lose confidence and mobility. It's a vicious circle. If you feel up to it, try to keep as active as you can. Even a short, gentle walk in the fresh air is helpful, not least because it's a distraction and reminds us that nature is a wonderful thing to behold. The other thing about joint pain is that it can vary so much from day to day, depending on your mood, the weather and what's happening in your life. This is why the effects of painkillers and anti-inflammatories can sometimes be so unpredictable. When it all gets too much, it's time to see your friendly hip surgeon to discuss the options for surgical treatment. A hip replacement is the best treatment for most people with painful hip arthritis when you've tried everything else. Hopefully, this has given you some insight into what's going on in your body and mind when you're trying to live your life with painful hip arthritis. If you'd like to know more, then please get in touch. Thanks for watching.